What's up, everyone? This is Kenny here from Provisoys. So, and this is a question from the audience again. Eh? Hey, uh, Kenny, my wife and I are on, are currently on the lookout to purchase a house. We found one which takes all the boxes for us in Surumban. But we are wondering what's the value of the house. Apart from bricks, what other tools would you recommend to find out a value of a house? Okay. Actually, let's start with the first part here, bricks. Okay, Bricks.my right, is actually a website that shows the latest transactor of the house or property, any property. Lah, okay? And this Bricks.my already sold to iProperty. So now you can go to iProperty.com.my to check the transacted price of the house. Why is it important? So you know what's the last transacted and you're not overpaying for the house that you want to buy. Okay? So my, the question here is that other than bricks and I property, how do I find out the value of the house? What pools they have? Unfortunately, this one right is not available to the public. The only thing that is available to the public is iproperty.com the MY. Okay? That is the only one. That also as agents are uh, only you can access and you need to pay a certain amount of fees every year to use that facility. So what as a buyer, as a lay person, what can you do? You ask the agent. Okay? You ask the agent whether this value or this property uh, can match or not. The agent will sure have done their homework, okay? Whether the property value can match, the bank can give that kind of valuation or not. The next thing is that when you do the booking, right? Booking form, uh, when you say the booking form, uh, remember to add this clause. 90% of the purchase price. Not loan 90%. 90% of purchase price. If you do not get 90% of the purchase price, you have the right to get a refund on your deposit. Okay? Most people, they make a mistake, they put 90% of loan. Loan 90%. 90% of what? 90% of the purchase price that you put on the booking form. That is the second thing that you can put to help safeguard yourself as a buyer. The third one. The third one is that off letter. When you meet the banker or when you the loan is approved, usually when you meet is when you sign the off letter, like the banker will come and see you just to explain to you the loan off letter. No banker will do that. It's a waste of everybody's time. Okay? Banker also just doing sales and they want sales as soon as possible. So you just ask the banker, uh, how much is the loan? Okay? Let's just say the property is five hundred thousand, huh? So the loan you want is ninety percent, right? Ninety percent is four hundred and fifty thousand. So the number uh, won't come out four hundred fifty thousand nicely when just add that. So it should be something like four six seven or four seven seven plus plus. You will be plus the MRT and legal fee you put on top. But you ask the banker, what is the loan amount for the property? Then you know uh, it's ninety percent. Ask the banker. Okay, then you have chosen the bank, right? Maybe let's just say you got three offers. The last one, the fourth one, is that when you sign the bank. The off letter in front, right in front of the banker, right? You take out your phone. That's the banker type, Lima. You must type, ma. Type, ready? You compare. Is it correct or not? With the off letter. If it's not correct, huh? if it's not correct, especially on the property price there, 450,000 suddenly they will give you 440,000. Or what? 500k will give you 400,000 loan. Uh, or 435,000 loan. Something like that. Uh. Lower than the one that you want. Uh. Then you ask the banker. This one, why different? You are not comfortable, just don't sign. Okay? Just don't sign. Ah. You have the right one. Now you tell me A, then when I meet you, you tell me B. Ah. I compare, what, what is this? The terms and conditions don't match. So don't sign. That's the only thing that you can do as a buyer. Unfortunately, uh, the, in this country, uh, the property, the transactions and all a lot of things uh, is not transparent to us as a consumer. Okay? Privileged people like myself, we are in the bank or even your property agents who are in the industry, then yes, they may have connections with valuers, bankers that will know what is the value of the property. Okay? Unfortunately, that's all that we have to go about. And just remember these four things. Ah, okay? If, and the last but not least, the most important is that verify everything. That's all. Verify everything. Once you, before you sign, Verify every single thing. That's it. I hope that helps. Huh? This is Kenny here from Poppy Stories. And I'll see you again next video.
If you've got any more questions, just ask down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do hit the subscribe button. See you.